right, welcome to today's talk. We're going to talk very briefly today about overcorrecting and why you shouldn't do it. I'm going to use Musashi as a guide for this. So I'm going to read an entire quote, and then we're going to extract one sentence and talk about it. And we're going to relate it to driving, just because I think dri driving is something that, even if you don't drive for some reason, the analogy should make sense. But with weapons, just as with other things, you should not make distinctions or preferences. Going too far is the same as not going far enough. Without imitating others, you should take what is appropriate to yourself and use a weapon you can handle. Now, the part of that we're going to focus on for today is going too far is the same as not going far enough. People have a, a pretty natural tendency to overcorrect. Not everyone does it, but a lot of people do. And I think it's something we can learn to evaluate because um, there's an old saying that you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Uh, that basically relates to this. So the analogy for overcorrecting is, let's say you're driving down the freeway and you, you just need to stay in your lane. Okay, So if you realize that you're kind of drifting close to another lane or you're out of your lane, you just correct enough to stay in your lane. If you overcorrect, you'll end up in another lane or off the road. I made a video the other day talking about the Kazen principle and how sometimes we just need to polish. That's a good example for this. Sometimes we just need little corrections to get ourselves back on track. Musashi also talks about, I don't have the quote pulled up, but he also talks about how when we're going down our individual path, sometimes like a, a little deviation will seem like it's um, pretty minor when it happens, but if we keep following that deviation down the road, it can leave us on a completely different course. We want to be mindful of that, but going back to this, sometimes all we need to do is a little correction. We just need to stay in our lane, whatever the lane is. Now, sometimes if you're, you know, if you go on a road trip, a lot of you have experienced this, you might discover you're on the wrong freeway. You need to overhaul that. That's obviously a situation where we need to stop and look at a map or a GPS. I realize some of you have probably never looked at a map, but um, there have been plenty of times where I've been on a road trip and I had to stop and look at a map. I, it's not so much a thing anymore. If you've never done that, you should learn how because looking at knowing how to use a map is a skill that can be really useful. If we're on a road trip, we find out we're on the wrong freeway, or if we just simply miss an exit, sometimes we have to, you know, completely overhaul what we're doing to get back on track. That's fine. Recognize the difference. If you're just staying in your lane, you don't need to stop and evaluate everything. Hopefully that makes sense. Learn to be cautious about overcorrecting. There are times when we want to overhaul things. Going too far is the same as not going far enough. That's all for today. Go read a book.